Is this thing on? Okay, guys, welcome back for another video. A quick um, year in review, if you will, for 2018. Um, about 13 months ago, on November 27th of 2018, um, I'm sorry, 2017, I should say, I started this channel with the very first video. Um, in those 13 months, nearly 10,000 people have subscribed to my channel, and I can't say thank you enough. Um, I don't have any huge giveaway set up yet, but that is in the works. So when we reach 10,000, hopefully today, I, no, I don't know, tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever, whenever, uh, we're going to do some kind of giveaway. I don't know what yet. Some kind of fabrication starter pack. Maybe, um, well, I don't know. We're going to find out. Anyways, let's get started with the year in review. Okay, so for the review of 2018, we got a lot of different projects started. We abandoned a couple of projects. We moved on. We changed and we did everything under the sun. First of which, uh, most notable, is the S10, the 99. 5.3, 4L60, stock rear end when I got it. Um, I really don't know what my plan was when I got that thing, but it quickly turned into putting the Ford 8.8 in it putting the foil 80 in it, putting the Mega Squirt MS3 Pro 1 on there, and going out and having some fun with it. So the first thing that you're gonna see here, this clip, uh, we did the rear end housing, we narrowed the 8.8 .8 out of the Explorer, put it in the S10, went and had some fun with it. Check it out. Okay, so we finally got the rear end done in the S10. Got the thing sat down on the ground. Uh, looks tough. Love the truck. Put it on the dyno. Now keep in mind, at this point, we didn't have the Mega Squirt on it, and it was still with stock electronics. My buddy John was tuning it for me because I cannot stand HP tuners, and I really don't understand it. So uh, I, I knew in my head that that HP tuners was going to be going away, so I really didn't want to put the time into it for me to learn it. So uh, check out the dyno videos. The truck made somewhere in the neighborhood of 540 horsepower, completely stock, 5.3, no cam, no valve springs, heads never been off of it, the whole nine yards. The truck ended up going 680s in the eighth mile on about 12 and a half pounds of boost. Um, in the quarter mile, it went 1121 at 119 on nine pounds of boost. So it was a huge uh, success, if you will. Um, great fun ride. That drivetrain is now getting switched into my other truck, which has gone to paint. If you've been keeping up, you saw that video where we took it to Dwayne's place uh, last week, I guess. So on to the next part. don't know what was so interesting about this video and how it did so well um, it was a simple trick and it was widely received by the YouTube community uh, as of this video it's somewhere in the 1.2 million views category I, I'm just baffled by that anyways the video did really good all I did was take a junk punch ground a groove in it and demonstrated how we use it to cut a bushing out it is amazing how many YouTube armchair quarterbacks there are who can do it better, faster, quicker, cheaper, and yeah, I, it just blows me away. The whole point of the video was that if you had a junk punch and you were in a pinch and this is what you needed to do, this is how I did it. It's not the right way. It's not the wrong way. It's just the way that I do it. Anyways, on to the next video.
Hey everybody, welcome back. I was at a friend's house yesterday who is a transmission builder and asking him some questions here and there on the 4L80 build that you've already seen the beginning of. I'm going to lay this thing over on the corner of the wheel. I'm going to cut a groove in it. We're getting ready to take out this bushing right here. This hole that it's gonna it, that we would normally just let it fall through. Okay, and this last clip um, it is just machine shop 101. Um, I'll refer back to this the same ar uh, YouTube armchair quarterbacks. I I really don't get it. Um, it, it. Sometimes in the garage in the shop when you're at your buddy's facility doing whatever you're doing, sharpening a drill like this video. You have to use what's available to you. In this case, to sharpen a drill, I use a belt sander, a 30, a 30 inch by one inch belt sander. That's all it is. I didn't have a drill angle gauge to, to check the drill with. Personally, I've done it so many times, I'm used to it, and quite frankly, I'm pretty stinking good at it. And in, in this video, the purpose of sharpening the drill was because it was the only one of that size that we had. Um, and it was in really sad shape. So we sharpen the drill. We use it in this old antiquated drill press. Um, and we only had to drill one or two holes, I think it was. And it was anything from not using cutting oil to the shavings aren't coming off the drill correctly to the hole is oversized. The hole is oblong. The hole, it, oh my God, everything. And at 600,000 hits or however many it was, uh, you know, it's just the same thing over and over and over. Man, I don't understand it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get used to this whole YouTube and the comments thing, and it's even after the first year, it's, it's still mind-blowing. Nonetheless, here we are. And I'm going to rough this thing out, and the important part is to watch how you do it. I think one more time on that side, and we'll be good. I'm not happy with that point, so we're going to knock it down a little bit. Okay, guys, so in closing, um, just that was just a quick year interview over a few highlights of my first year on YouTube as a content creator. That was um, 58 videos. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad or indifferent. Um, I just show you a lot of things that I do, the way that I do them, and that's that's it. Uh, I like to do this kind of stuff. I, you know, I I work on cars, I weld, I machine, I do this, I do that, and again, it's not the right way, it's not the wrong way, it's just the way that works for me. Having said all that, I can't say thank you enough to the the close to 10,000 subscribers that have come on board for the last 13 months. Um, hopefully 2019 will be something similar. Uh, maybe 10,000, maybe 50 or 60 or 100,000. I don't know. The sky's the limit. Um, there's a lot more super cool projects coming up. We got both of the CNC machines in works. I just ordered some more parts for both of them. Race car, getting close. Still in limbo waiting for some parts for the rear end that I need to get the rear end in the car. Um, S10, gone to paint. Hopefully we'll get it back in the next couple of weeks. So many things going on, so many cool projects. And once again, I appreciate every one of you uh, joining up, subscribing, sharing, thumbs up, like, and all that good stuff. And um, that's it, man. I hope to see you guys uh, throughout 2019. If, if I see any of you at the racetrack, at car meets, whatever, please come up, say hi, shake hands, all that good stuff. Outside of that, we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.